Hello, this is Mayor Cecil Willis, the city of Stafford. I'm here with a great group of people today to let you know about a special event that's going to take place in Stafford tomorrow, April 17th. I first want to thank and recognize my council colleagues, Mayor Pro Tem Alice Chin, Councilman Ken Matthew, and our newbie, Councilman Xavier Herrera. He, he, he's our baby, so. <laughs> but he's been around and he understands what's going on. Uh, secondly, I want to recognize some special people who are helping us with this event in a collaborative effort. That is State Representative Ron Reynolds, our good, good friends at the Houston Food Bank, and the American Caribbean Chamber of Commerce. So I'm going to turn it over to them to give you more specific information on this event. And I'm going to start with Mayor Pro Tem Alice Chin. And this event is to help facilitate services for the citizens of Stafford. So Mayor Pro Tem Chin, will you fill us in on more details? Thank you, Mayor. I want to first thank you, Mayor Cecil Willis, to actually support and help us to make this happen, this food, food drive happen. I also want to thank you, the Fulbin County Tax Assessor Corrector, Ms. Carmen Turner, in partnership with American Caribbean Chamber of Commerce, Houston Food Bank, and Ron Reynolds, State Represent Ron Reynolds, and many, many, many sponsors make this food drive happen. And tomorrow, not only the food drive, they're going to provide the COVID-19 testing station in front of our Stafford Center from 9 o'clock, start at 9 o'clock. I want to make sure I introduce the very important lady who worked side by side with us for this project, Mr. Constant Jones. She is a state officer, Texas Black Caucus. She also is executive senior VP Community, community uh, Outreach with Caribbean Chamber of Commerce. Ms. Jones, thank you. Thank you so much, Mayor Cecil, Mayor Pro Tem, Alice Chen. It is my extreme honor and pleasure to um, speak on behalf of the American Caribbean Chamber of Commerce. We are so excited about this joint venture that's happening tomorrow. It's a very special event. This is one of many that the Chamber has already facilitated with numerous partners. Before I go any further, I would like to introduce, of course, the very important man that is responsible for the creation of this wonderful organization. I have behind me the founder, Mr. R.J. Baptiste, as well as the chairman of the executive board. I also have one of our board of directors, Ms. Deborah Ken, VP over operations, and we have other members that are absent. We have Dr. Baptiste over international affairs, and Mr. Mahmoud Mafani, that serves as the logistics and resources. And of course, our wonderful VP of media that is now behind the camera. I want to extend a hearty welcome and thank you to the city of Stafford for allowing us the partnership, the collaboration, which I know will be one of many. And again, to just piggyback on what Pro Tem Mayor um, Alice Chen said, Tomorrow will be an excellent event, serving our constituents, not only with the food distribution, but also with the COVID-19 testing. As we very well know, vaccines are plentiful, and we're encouraging everyone to get vaccinated. However, we must continue the education with the COVID-19 testing to know your status. And with that, again, thank you, Mayor Cecil, for your cooperation, as well as your wonderful council members, Pro Tim Alice Chin, for being so gracious to allow the chamber to collaborate. And with that, I will pass it back over to the mayor. Thank you so much. 
Thank you so much for those kind words. This is truly a, a collaborative effort. It's, it's totally a community event. So I encourage anyone in the city of Stafford who may need to participate in these services to please show up tomorrow. I've been assured by my council colleagues there won't be rain. It'll be fair, partially sunny. Uh, until the event is over and then the good Lord will give us rain again. So we thank all of you and we will see you at the Stafford Center tomorrow. Thank you.